Elgato has just released a brand new update with NVIDIA Broadcast Technology. Now your Elgato Facecam or Camlink 4K can add effects and filters so you can make your camera quality look even better. So using your Elgato Facecam, you can blur the background to make it look like that you're using a high-end expensive DSLR camera. Or you can even add a green screen to the background so you have a built-in green screen without actually having a green screen on your set. Now be sure to use Elgato Virtual Camera, not Elgato Facecam, in your or stream software of choice because essentially what Camera Hub is doing is creating a virtual camera and that gets sent to your stream software and then you can put that into Skype, Zoom, Teams, Discord, whatever you want to use and that's that. It's really nice. Now the beauty of this is that it applies to the Camlink 4K as well. So the camera right behind me there, it's an $800 Canon M50 Mark II connected to the Camlink 4K. I can put that into Camera Hub and even blur the background more if I want to because its lowest aperture is 4.0, which is not gonna give you a crazy good looking depth of field. It's not that great, but I can add additional blur later and it works really well with a DSLR camera like that because it has better image quality than the Elgato face cam naturally that's going to happen and it's a really nice effect especially if you use the green screen for this the green screen effect works even better with the dslr camera into camlink 4k but if all you can afford right now is an elgato face cam it's just been upgraded and you didn't even have to pay anything extra now be sure not to increase that blur factor too much because it can look a bit fake and you might be saying oh but it's so cinematic it's fake and people will be able to tell. So don't crank it too high. There is also a difference if you have the effect off and if you have it turned on at 0%. You can notice a difference and you can see the side by side comparison here that on the left it's on but it's still 0% and on the right the effect is completely off and there is a slight difference. And that subtle difference can make a huge difference in retrospect of things. Now before we go any further it's important to highlight that this won't work on any computer. You do need an NVIDIA graphics card with an RTX 30 series or 20 series graphics card. You're not going to get around that. It's because of the tensor cores they have in there. It's a really amazing graphics card that Nvidia has put out and with this partnership with Elgato and Nvidia, this is going to be really powerful and it's now possible to do this. Additionally, you're going to need Nvidia's plugin to allow this to work. It's their SDK plugin download, which I'll leave the link down below in the description. This essentially is the drivers to play your game. It's completely necessary in order for Camera Hub to communicate with the graphics card. Now, if you're too lazy to go to the link down below, in camera hub if you already have it installed go to the effects tab and this exclamation mark go ahead and click it and it'll send you the link to download the sdk downloads just make sure to restart your pc before you try and use anything because you're going to have to do that for all the effects that take effect yeah now this is really amazing because if you can't afford an $800 plus an extra, what's 150 bucks for the Camlink 4K, the system I have here, you can get $169 Elgato face, El, Elgato face Cam and it's still going to look very similar to what a DSLR might look with some depth of field. Granted, it's not going to be exactly the same. There are going to be differences because a webcam cannot match up to a DSLR camera, but it's going to be the next best thing if you can't afford a DSLR at this time. Now your Elgato face cam is going to reach even closer to what a DSLR might look like. And that's a really powerful feature at a really great cost too. Visuals by Impulse gives you really cool overlays, alerts, and assets, including emotes for your live streams. So you can make your live streams look even better. Visuals by Impulse is not sponsoring this video. I like them that much. I'm just talking about them. And if you use the link down below, you get 5% off your order automatically applied to your checkout. So it's really nice. They also have some really awesome free ones. I use a bunch of their free assets from Visuals by Impulse. And if you use the link down below, it supports the channel, allows me to continue creating free content for you so that you can continue to increase the production value of your live streams and videos. Let's continue with the video. Now, if this video helped, please leave a like. That'd be appreciated. It's free and takes no effort. Now, this is a really great update from Elgato and they have more. Elgato has also implemented NVIDIA G-Sync pass-through with their capture card, the HD60X. And this is the first VRR capture card that supports G-Sync pass-through. It's amazing technology, which will help increase your production value and also improve your content creation and just your gaming experience. Additionally, Elgato has added an update to their Wavelink software. You can now use NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Remover
removal to reduce all of the room tone and background noise that Nvidia is so well known for. You've seen those videos of people using a hairdryer or something in the background of their videos and they turn the RTX broadcast noise removal feature on and it completely removes all of that sound and your voice is still pretty crisp considering the conditions. And this new VST3 plugin is for your favorite audio software Elgato Wavelink. But they have also made this plugin available for pretty much any other audio software. So the videos on screen will take you to those two videos. They are mind blowing updates to this whole gaming and streaming experience. Truly one of a kind, honestly. Elgato and Nvidia just made your life better. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time or in the other two videos. But until then, make something great.